Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today we are discussing 10 style lessons from Patty Boyd. And if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Laura. This is a channel where we talk about all things vintage fashion and beauty. So if you love those things, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the big red button below. Also, please don't forget to follow my new Instagram account, Dahlia's in the Attic. I also link that below. All right, let's jump right in and talk about 10 style lessons from Patty Boyd. So Patty Boyd is an English model. She was born on March 17th, 1944. She was one of the leading international models during the 1960s. And she was married to George Harrison, one of the Beatles in 1966. And this was during the height of the Beatles popularity. She divorced Harrison in 1977 and then later married Harrison's friend Eric Clapton in 1979 and they divorced in 1989. Boyd inspired Harrison's songs such as If I Needed Someone, Something, For You Blue, and Clapton's Layla and Wonderful Tonight. So let's jump in and talk about 10 different style lessons from Patty Boyd. So style lesson number one, short dolly dresses. So Patty Boyd loved short 1960s shift dresses with emphasized collars, so that was kind of one of her signature go-to looks in the 1960s. Style lesson number two is a signature hairstyle. So Patty Boyd had a very quintessential 1960s shoulder length hairstyle with bangs and flipped up ends. She also teased the top of her hair to create a hump on the top, which was very popular in the 1960s. Style lesson number three is create a signature beauty look. So Patty loved the perfume Jicky, and she would create a classic 1960s cat eye and always wore a pale pink lip. Style lesson number four, find a classic shoe style and stick with it. So Patty loved to wear black dolly shoes with her short mini skirts and shift dresses. She would also sometimes wear knee-high socks and different colorful tights. And style lesson number five is hair accessories. So she always wore fun hair accessories. She would wear berets as well as different polka dot headbands. Style lesson number six is bold colors and prints. So Patty loved to wear super fun mod prints in the 1960s. They were very colorful and later on she would convert it to more of like a psychedelic hippie look with kind of unique floral prints, but she always wore bright colors and would mix different prints and textures. Style lesson number seven is bold collars. So a lot of Patty's looks kind of had an oversized Peter Pan collar, which was really popular in the 1960s, and she'd wear those with her dolly dresses, and she also had many dresses and tops with pussy bows on them. Style lesson number eight is simple separates. So even though she wore many funky prints and unique pieces, she also had simple items in her wardrobe, so she would pair a black turtleneck with a really cute short mod mini skirt. Style lesson number nine is statement jewelry. So she dressed up a lot of her looks with really fun statement earrings and necklaces. She, there was lots of photos of her wearing long necklaces, which were very popular, especially in her more uh, psychedelic hippie days. And style lesson number 10 is just to have fun. Don't be afraid to you know, pick up some of these vintage dresses at thrift shops. You can find lots of funky 1960s and 70s dresses and you can even pair them with modern elements like a turtleneck and cute little Mary Jane shoes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below and if there's anyone else you want me to do next. All right, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.